Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, that was well deserved. What's good, YouTube? This is Austin Sweet here, and you're watching this. We love Dakota and Austin. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And I just want to say real quick, um, sorry for not uploading as much. I've been kind of at a YouTuber's block because I'm trying to, de to decide what to upload and when I want to do it. So I think the last video I shot was the season premiere of Wrestling Talk, which is the season two premiere. Um, I'm still looking for horror movies. Your guys' horror movie collection. You guys are slacking. Come on. Pick it up or I'm just gonna start looking online and I mean I've been looking online for horror movie collections and all that and I think the closest people that are gonna win the contest is either gonna be the Taylor Johnson one um, Andrew Bellina or blu-ray collector 306 shout out to those three people go check out their channels they're great but that's not what this video is about I want to welcome everyone to episode two of season two of wrestling talk <laughs> kind of funny there um, and today's video, for today's wrestling talk, I forgot to mention it's double dip day. What that means is you're going to get wrestling talk now and you're going to get my top 10 old school rap songs later. Um, so get ready for that. Um, you guys like the Star Wars jacket? Let me know if I should incorporate the Star Wars jacket into future videos. But anyways, rant on Hell in a Cell 2019. This pay-per-view was god awful i did not like this pay-per-view at all there were so many things wrong with this pay-per-view i mean some of the matches were good don't get me wrong i mean ali versus randy orton the kabuki warriors match um the tornado tag team match was freaking great i loved that match but you only had like a few matches that were decent one was eh and one that was actually good but here's the real reason why I'm ranting. The main event. Seth Rollins versus The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Now. Seth Rollins had the edge going into this match. He said he was going to beat The Fiend. Walk away Universal Champion. In my mind, The Fiend. I thought The Fiend was going to squash Seth Rollins in less than three minutes. Like, I swear, like, that was going to happen. But no, the match ends in no contest because of what Rollins did. Okay, first of all, how can a Hell in a Cell match end in a no contest? The darn match is a no disqualification match. Like, you can't go about and saying, oh, this superstar is disqualified for bringing in a weapon. This superstar is disqualified for having outside interference in the cell. This superstar is disqualified. That superstar is disqualified. Focus, WWE. The Hell in a Cell match is no disqualification. But yet you decide to go ahead, call this match no contest, let the Fiend get beaten down, get up, and actually go after um, Rollins. He went after Rollins after the match. Laid him out, I think, with his sister Abigail. Laid him out with the Manable Claw. The fans were left fuming after this pay-per-view. No wonder that pay-per-view got such a bad rating. For one, it sucked. Two, it was the main event. And three, no one cared about the pay-per-view. It's like, my God. And, it, and then we got Crown Jewel coming up and all that. We're going to discuss Crown Jewel next week on Wrestling Talk. We're going to discuss that next week. Um, so stay tuned to that. We'll discuss Crown Jewel um, next week on wrestling talk and it'll be next wednesday i'm just doing these on thursdays um because i didn't do it yesterday you know what i mean but anyways next week on wrestling talk we're going to talk about crown jewel and why they need to stop doing these shows in saudi arabia but back to hell in a cell the fans were left fuming they wanted a refund they were chanting bs they were chanting aew because fans are tuning, or rather going to tune into AEW because their storylines are much better. And it's not the BS that WWE is giving us. For one, I don't blame the fans for tuning into AEW because you got so much top talent on that show. That you don't even need to tune into to WWE to actually get a quality show. You can just tune into AEW for a quality show or NXT for that matter. I mean, look look what happened uh, last night 
on NXT. I mean, Tommaso Ciampa coming out. Velveteen Dream cutting a promo on Roderick Strong. AEW had some great matches on there. And what does the main flagship show WWE has? Tell me. Hold on, look at the comments. No, 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 not that, not that. No, 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 no. No, just forget it, just forget it. You guys are slacking on the comments. No, I'm just kidding, I love you guys. But, um, no. WWE has nothing. They've got nothing good going for them. Except for SmackDown. Except for Friday Night SmackDown, which is like the only show that's actually good. Raw sucks because you don't have... For one, there was no Rollins on Raw, no Fiend, no Firefly Funhouse, and no mention of the pay-per-view. We just get a video package of what happened. Because that sucks right there. Us getting a video package on Raw without any mention of the show is ridiculous. No wonder SmackDown is going to be good um, in ratings and all that. I mean, look what happened last week. I mean, oh my God. Brock Lesnar squashing Kofi Kingston in nine seconds. I mean, we already knew that Kofi Kingston had no chance against Brock. So it kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of looking shady for the new day. They might split. I don't know. We'll discuss that down the road. Um, but I mean, SmackDown is going to win anyways. But <clears throat> back to the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. It sucked so bad that I wouldn't even jump on the network and watch it. So my recommendation to you guys, don't watch Hell in a Cell 2019. I think you're better off watching the one with the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match in the New Day Usos match. That was great. Um... Just don't watch uh, Hell in a Cell 2019. No build-up. No mention of it on the Raw after Hell in a Cell. Which was just disappointing. And that'll do it for this episode of Wrestling Talk, guys. Thank you guys very much. If you guys missed the previous episode of Wrestling Talk, which is the season premiere, there will be a link in the description below. Go check it out, or I'll leave a little annotation at the end of this video. So you guys can click that. Go over and watch um, the first episode or the first episode of season two for Wrestling Talk or hit the description. Till then, thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave your feedback in the comments. And above all else, subscribe, shadow the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next video. Go subscribe to Matt Hamilton, please, guys. He really needs the subscribers. Link for his channel will be down below. Um, I'll be back, guys, later tonight with my top 10 old school rap songs. So be sure you guys go check that out, and I'll see you guys later.